Hello guys and welcome back to I think this is episode 20 of our Schalke 04 k or the 20 episodes we've gone through more or less a bit more than one and a half seasons I think this is decent. Uh, in today's episode we will start with the game against Leverkusen in the second place away against first place. The first leg we won, uh, the first time we played against them we won I think it was like a 5-3 or 4-3, I think 4-3. Um, or was it either 4-3 or 5-4 so a lot of goals in the last game we just lost without having any kind of chance 2-0 and just because of Ralle who saved us multiple times and this time of course we want to get first place back if we win we would be first place if we lose we would be 4 points behind them so it's a huge game really looking forward to that we want revenge and we want first place after that I will make the last transfers about the winger everybody of you who told me who to go for told me to go for Lottin so I will go from Papa Lottin, which would, might be interesting because if you can remember, if you were already there last year, in FIFA 16 my payment came out, I signed Lottin, I really disliked my lot, even though he was going fast and had a huge, like a 78-79 rating, I just didn't see why he was not good at all. I really disliked him, so I sold him for quite a lot of money to Schalke and at Schalke he played quite good. So now with Schalke I'm signing him, so really interesting to see how he will do. Something I'm looking for is maybe selling Gatto, our second choice goalkeeper, getting this um, youth player in. Because it wouldn't change a lot, maybe even nothing. But on the other side, uh, the retention of the youth player is higher and Gatto is worth like 7-8 million. So if he can get like 7-8-9 million, it would make, make sense. Except of this, I don't think I wanna really do anything at the moment. Well, this squad should play. Last time we played, um, we just played Hober, so hopefully we play better today. Oh, it's, it's snowing a little bit, not really too much, so, but just a little bit. Not bad. Chicharito's playing again. Really open game again. The pressure, look at the pressure they're putting on our players. Now we, for the first time, have some time, but they put so much pressure on us. The positive side is, oh, uh, what? This is the positive side, a quick 1-2 and we have a 1v1, we just need, with a quick 1-2 we can go through like 5-6 defenders at once. It's really easy to get through, on the other side we will lose and we already lose the ball so got them often because we don't even have half a second until they are already like 7 uh, Bayer Leverkusen players, um, just like centimeters in, uh, away from our player. So. We don't have any kind of time on the other side, if we f actually can do, what was that, a quick one too, we are through. So I, as always, in this game expect a lot of goals. Good save there by Ralle and he will also get this one. Kone Blanca, Dipe with the one, I will try, oh the pass wasn't the perfect moment, Dipe has the one we won, good touch. Leno is not even going for it because he knew he has no chance, it wasn't the most amazing shot, but in the end it was a one we won. So he could have chosen that good touch with his header, have a head and then look at how he's finishing it. Nice! And this is what I talked. We had a quick one to deep at the Cunha Planka with a long ball. And there were like 4-5 defenders but with this one too we got through everybody having the 1v1. And then of course we have players like Cunha Planka and Bolo deep in front who just go 1v1s. Okay Ralle. And Bolo trying to do another one too. It's almost working! Ah, close one, really close one. We are now better. We are now closer to the second goal. Maya. Nice! Oh, another one too. Now the one twos are working perfectly. This has to be the tactics that gets Leverkusen. One twos. Perfect. The pass to, uh, to Maya. Back. The strength. I don't know why he hit that so badly. I mean, he had so much time. Well, well, well. What a game. It is so much good and fun playing against them. So Because it's so crazy. Yeah, you don't know. It could go with a 1-0 with a lead in half time and that would mean we could win 5-0 in the end or we could lose 5-1. So many possibilities because the game is so goddamn often. It's just the question who takes more chances because both teams have like so many chances. Another one for Leverkusen maybe. Please no. Don't know what's going on. In the end we can defend it. <sighs> yeah, it happened. Uh, we defend so good as well but then... This magical assist there from I don't know who it was. Look at the pass, just he deserve, uh, not a lot of space and then the pass in the right moment for everybody to Chicharito. Ralle almost saved us again. But yeah, unfortunately we conceded. So Chicharito with the equalizer. 20 more minutes. I would take a one or two to be honest. I mean, 
they are a, definitely the better team. They are playing better, especially in the second half. We were not even able to get in towards in close to their goal once. It is just look at the pressure. I mean, it's too much. I will ping on um, Kvalenko or Koretska. Koretsko, uh, Koretsko, what the f... Koretska. And I think I will also pick on Chupo for Kuneplanka, who hasn't played too amazing. Um, I actually think I will bring on uh, Kovalenko as well. Even though guys played amazing, I mean Maya played as amazing as well, but he's just dead. So new midfield, who should uh, who are supposed to help us? Maybe create another attack. I want to have the counter attack. Look at how of uh, attacking they're going. Oh 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 oh! Not good, not good. What the block there from Nastasic? He's oh what the block, man! I will go defensive. I don't even care. And with Chupo, maybe he is not the most Basie winger, but oh wait, offside. Okay, oh man, oh man. I mean, if they give us some space to have us at a counter attack, I will try to score. But other than this, my main goal has to be to just get this one all over the next few minutes. Maybe one last attack if the pass is good. Oh, please don't be offside. Please, I beg, Chupo, please. It counts. It counts, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? 93rd minute. And we do actually have the only attack, the only attack in the second half we had. Maybe even the only attack we had since the first goal we scored. The pass through for Chupo, somehow not offside, Chupo's going, he made the right substitution. And we do win the game, and it is so not deserved. It is so not deserved. It's over, it is so not deserved. We had this one only attack, the only attack we had in the second half. And we do score it, and this is the big difference. They were better, but we had two shots, scored both, and we do actually win an away game because of a goal in the 93rd minute against Leverkusen. And I have to say, Bob's to EA. Leverkusen in this game is just perfect, perfectly made, like in real life. The pressure and everything, they made it perfect, just like in real life. Bayern have not played yet, but one thing I can definitely tell you, after 18 games, Schalke will be first place. And this is amazing. And they are already 11 points now in front of fourth place. So Champions League directly qualification is basically 100% sure. So now we can actually, if we are already third place, now we definitely have to say, okay, now we uh, we definitely the only other goal we can have is to win the league because third place is more or less already sure. And second, third is not a huge difference, but first place would be a difference. So starting now, our big goal has to be to win the league. For 5 million and Sam, 76 rated, 19 years old, he will now join us. We still have a little bit of money. Don't know if I will do a transfer, but yeah, I will only do a transfer if I will sell somebody. So for example, Gato, if I can sell Gato, there might be somebody else, uh, something else happening. You saw um, his stats last time already, but just in case, I will show you them. I will compare them to Chupo to tell you why one of them is on the bench and why the other one not. So you can see. Mental stats, Chupo is way better. Um, pace, of course, Lottin is better, but in all the other mental stats, uh, physical stats like jumping, reaction, stamina, strength, Chupo is better. So Chupo is winning here for sure. Pokemon or dribbling? I would say Chupo is winning. I mean, it's more or less the same. Lottin is 3 better on Pokemon Troll and he is 5 better on dribbling, but Pokemon Troll is not. For me, I would give slightly win for Chupo. Crossing. Better for Lottin, but not too important. Finishing the same. He has better heading, better long shots, better passing and stuff. High medium to medium medium. He's taller. So Chupo will be on the bench. I want to sell five players and four of them are goalkeepers. Because we have got them five goalkeepers in our squad. So this is quite funny. I want to sell four goalkeepers. I mean, they are decent ones. Giefer, Nübel is young and decent rated. Giefer is decent, has a decent rating. Weinreuter is an, has an amazing rating for his age. Gatto as well. So we should normally be able to sell them, but I don't know why there are no offers. Yeah, I will now see if I can sell anybody else. If not, then there won't be any other deal in this transfer window. Sifkovic going up again. A 67 rated now, improving his attack position, stamina, agility, tripling, and finishing. I wanted to get him to a 78, so I want to improve him exactly one more time. And then I will stop training him. I'm not sure if Klein gone up because I, I think he just gone up because it's uh, he was 70 on. Yeah, so I didn't see that actually. But Klein just gone up to a 72 rating as well. So both players improved. Really, uh, really nice to see that. We got a transfer for for Wellenreuter. Oh, finally! Um, I will counter for though because of course I want to sell him. I will counter for with 
because I feel like that's still decent. 6.5, quite a lot of money. If they if they can't offer with 6 million, I will still accept it. But 6.6, at least 6, but normally like 6.5, I think, would be a decent deal. Think about they actually left them. Join Tottenham, Mitovic joined Swansea, Lindelof, never heard of him before, or I heard of him before, Sanchez, Leverkusen, Leverkusen, man, and D-Way, so some interesting transfers, but I don't really know, I just want to see if Mainz will pay the 6.5, or if they won't, they will, really nice to see that. There you go, he joined Mainz, 4.7 million for transfer budget, we have some money to make another deal, but I don't need another winger, I don't need a striker, I don't need a center mid, I don't need a CDM, I don't yet need a center back because the thing is, the I wanted to go for a center back in, in case of like I wanted to sign a new one and use Naldo in a swap deal because I don't need five center backs. But because Naldo is probably going to retire and especially right now thinking about retiring, I cannot sell Naldo. And because I cannot sell Naldo, then there is no reason to go for a center back yet. So if I'm not wrong, there is not going to be any other transfer in this transfer window for us or nobody we're gonna sign. We also got a transfer for Volutsen, um, a really decent one, so I will just accept this one. Joshua Bitter seems to leave us as well, so really happy to see that. If he's leaving us, uh, Wellenreuter left us, Giefer will leave us in half a season, then there is basically just, two, uh, there are just two players left. Or one? I'm not sure. Wait, five? No, two, uh, two players left. Yeah, he left us, so a lot, a bit, little bit of money as well, but, uh, or again, but, yeah, I don't really need it. Oh, what is Tottenham doing? Twin quarter, now Dahoud as well. Wolfsburg lo uh, lost somebody. Gato, we got an offer. Okay, I would sign him. Wow, well, value of 7.5 is decent, yeah. 7.5, I would straight away accept this. Definitely. 100%. Wow, well, really nice to see that. Transfer data and day. We always were not able to sell any of, uh, any of them, and now transfer data and day, and we can get any, uh, everybody out. This is. This is really nice to see. He left us some money. I will put him on the short list because I want to see how is he, uh, how he's improving. And of course, I will offer the youth player, the youth player um, goalkeeper uh, contract. Giovanni De Santos actually joined the European team again. Chelsea as well, and Chelsea lost Oscar to Barcelona. So we had some big deals. Quintero to Liverpool as well. Some big, big, big deals in the Bundesliga. Let's have a quick look. Augsburg with a lot of signings, really nice to see that. Bayern joined, uh, signed Vaz and Workwin, so two talented players, really nice. I mean, I don't know, they, they have enough. They signed any kind of Martinez, don't know, they of course got um, Davis and Gief for half a season. They sold Berkey and they don't, did not get, I think, another goalkeeper. So Dortmund at the moment just has one goalkeeper again and that is Feinreuter who might retire soon. So interesting um, choice there. Hamburg actually joined um, a signed Bittencourt, decent transfer. They sold Schmiedebach, got him Orialo do and Munir as well. Munir, decent signing for a team like Hannover to sign somebody like Munir. They sold Pichacek, really unhappy about that. I hope he st um, stayed in the Bundesliga. They sold Morales, okay, got Galocido uh, or Galocio, however you say that. They sold Bittenkot, of course. Three signings, but not two big ones. Um, uh, Ogo and Wellenreuter from us, so yeah, Schalke Mainz are friends. When, if you don't need players, then they will go to Mainz. They got in Schmiedebach, but sold Dremich, Hahn and Dahoud. Oh wow, interesting, oh wow. Erdogan, <laughs> not bad, of course we did a lot. Egasi, Flavodimus and Gonzalez. Stuttgart sp spent, uh, spent 21.5 million, how? Where do they get the money? They sold Arnold, and this is it guys. 466 million euros again, again a lot of money. Unbelievable. Max Meyer. Gone up again. He's 85 rated. What is going on with that guy? Finally he's going. 22 years old. 85 rated. Look at his physical stats. Look at his middle stats. Look at his broken or tripling. His finishing. His short pass. His long pass. What a player he is. Him, he, I never trained him. And he just gone uh, improved his long pass plus 5 himself. His finishing plus 3 himself. Sprint speed up plus 4. Reacts up plus 3. Some amazing growth. He's such an amazing player. Okay, I offered a few players with expand contract a new um, contract. Um, three of them accepted. I think well, there are one or two left. And Patrice Ndaye accepted his contract. He will now be our backup goalkeeper for both squads. And um, yeah, Giva out of here, please. 65 rated, if you haven't seen his stats. Not really best jumping. Decent stats, not really amazing. I might train him a little bit. Of course, right now I'm training especially um, Klein. 
and Zivkovic. Then Zivkovic is ready, I will try uh, to hang Klein and Malonzo and that will happen for a really long time because I want to get Klein to win 65, uh, 78 and the same to Alonso and when so ever somebody hits 78 I then want to get Lotting to win 78 and in Dial to around the 70. So I don't I don't think I will train him soon, but in some point I will start training him. Alright guys, I told you that we now have some games against Wolfsburg, Augsburg and Hannover. And I'm not too interested in any of these teams. If I now have a look at the table, you will first of all see that we are first place again. Leoku is top down. Wolfsburg 11, Augsburg 12 and Hannover is last. Therefore, yes, I will simulate all the three games. We should be able to win all three games. And I hope that we also don't get an injury. So first one, Wolfsburg, not be an amazing team. I mean, they have a decent squad, but they are doing horrible. I look at the squad, I mean, come on. 3 to 1 and 1 not 4. Ah, kinda disappointing, to be honest. Kuryan Panka with the late equalizer. Expected a win, but Wolfsburg was the only squad I would accept a draw. Against Wolfsburg, I would have accepted a draw, but normally we should have won. Against the other two teams, I would not accept a draw. There, we want to win. Dropping down to third because, yeah, it's so close. I mean, one point behind first. Next game, we will be first again, then we can third, whatever. It's just so good. Got him close. The big problem we have is Max Meyer. The thing is why he had an expiring contract, because he already declined one. I offered him a new one after a long time, and he still declines, because he has not decided if he wants to stay or not. Every time I saw this, in the end the player decided to stay. It is not a transfer window, so he has more or less, we can wait 3-4 months, it's not a huge problem anymore. I really hope that nobody would go for him in the transfer window, and I'm extremely surprised that nobody was going for him in transfer window, that did not make sense. They could sign a big contract with him, nobody tried. Did make sense, but I'm really happy about that. He still declines, I hope until the end of the season he will uh, accept because I really don't want to, leave, um, um, to uh, yeah, let him leave because he at the moment in my opinion is the best midfielder we have. I just want to, him, uh, to keep him. I would be so, uh, so sad if he would um, leave. The contract for um, Stark, I will do it soon. Now, finally, after a long time, we have Mumbles gone. Updates again. Let's have a look if there's somebody interesting. Nikolai Hansen, not sure, but um, I will sign him up. Uh, the same for definitely uh, Tobias Wensen, seems like um, an interesting player. And Frederik Sørensen or Sørensen, I will sign him up as well. And with that, we, because we signed a new center back, or defender, not only center back, but defender. I also did this one. I told you, everyone will be done uh, everything except of maybe winning the league and the Champions League semi-finals. Okay, here are two players, ex extremely interesting players, Sergio Alvarez, 15, 56 or 74. So you could maybe, if you are lucky, already be like mid-60 uh, mid waiting, uh, weighted, 71 to 94 potential. Really interesting player and I will sign him up as well um, as Eusebio Vas... I don't know how to say that, but Vasquez. Don't, doesn't look really too interesting, but I will still sign him up and all the other guys are not good enough. Now the game against Augsburg away, they are in alright form, I would say. Got 5 points out of the last 3 games, have a decent team, but I would be really disappointed if we don't win this one. I will quick them 3 to 1, oh Leverkusen is playing against Dortmund, 3 to 1, and we lose! Why? 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 Oh my goodness, I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not um, angry about myself that I simulated because we play against Gotham Augsburg. Three points behind uh, Leverkusen is not a huge difference, but Gladbach is getting kind of close now. It was 11, 12 points, now it's 8. Why would we lose against Augsburg? It does not make sense. Arim Klein going up again. 73 rated. His growth is just amazing. I mean, he is growing so goddamn fast. Last place Hannover. I know it's another away game, but if you don't win this, I'm not only being disappointed, but extremely angry. Deep with a goal, come on. I mean, I accepted a loss uh, to against Wolfsburg, it's not too, um, not too bad. A loss against Augsburg makes no win. If you don't win this game, then wow, just wow. Zivkovic from Bolo, um, Stark for Gustavo, interesting. Kretzka for Maya, 20 minutes. Bayern is winning. Stark with a yellow. Bayern got a draw, but Leverkusen is winning. Game is over, okay, we did win. Leverkusen won. But Bayern dropped points, so now we will get even closer again. What will be the league table? I will show you at the, at the end of this episode, but now it should be like extremely close. Okay guys, there are just a few things left to say. First of all, as you can see the league table, we are 3 points behind Leverkusen 
and have the same amount of points than Bayern and they are 9 points in front of 4th place Hamburg. Dortmund, I don't know what's going on with them. This is the first thing I want to show you. Next up the German Cup as you can see, um, we lost against Darmstadt, Darmstadt played then against Bayern of course, so we would have played against Bayern again of course and then against Gladbach, typical. Our unfortunately lost against Dortmund, um, Dortmund is through into the finals playing against Leipzig, really interesting, and Mainz against Bayern, so we can, some really interesting games, I would really like to see Bayern against Dortmund or Bayern against Leipzig. Next up, the Champions League um, group stage I want to show you. The Code Europe actually went to Man United, they won against Barca, not bad. So I will show you the group stage real quick and then this, um, these games, but first of all the group stage, but you can see the games, I will look at this again. So. First of all, let's start with Group A, Juventus easily going through, Sevilla as well, Fenerbahce just third. Atletico in front of Paris, um, then we have Real in front of Dortmund. We have Leverkusen in Basel, Chelsea just got third, gotta say I last. Chelsea was not able to get second, but Basel. Leverkusen first in such a group, not bad. Another big group, Bayern in front of Spurs, and the, oh, Bayern, look at this, 12 goals scored, 1 conceded, not bad. And Monaco with uh, the third place. Uh, Man City and Napoli, not really a surprise. Uh, Manu and Benfica, Ajax and Inter both with bad, and of course, you know, our group. Let me show you the um, games, the bond of 16. As you guys know, we are playing against Napoli, Man United against PSG, Leverkusen against Tottenham. I feel like this is always happening. Atletico against Dortmund, the same. Another thing I think always is happening. Juve against Benfica, um, City against Bar uh, Bar uh, Barcelona, we are against Napoli, Madrid against. Um, Basel and Bayern against Sevilla. So some big games that we have Manu against PSG, we have Leverkusen against Tottenham, we have Atletico against Dortmund, we have Man City against Barcelona and we have Bayern against Sevilla. Some big, big, big games. I expect Manu, uh, I expect, P uh, yeah, I, I think Man United. I think expect Man United, Leverkusen, Dortmund, Juve, um, Barca, Schalke, Real and Bayern to go through. And the last thing I want to ask you something, I hope this episode is not too long, as you can see we now have the game against Napoli, and then two days to rest and the game against Bayern, then we have again um, enough days to rest. What I want to ask you therefore is, in what game should I use my first choice squad and what game my second? First choice squad of course we just played uh, 3 or 4 days ago, but it is fit. I can use my first choice squad against Napoli, then I would have to use my second choice squad, this one, against Bayern. Or of course the other way around. It depends on you. Tell me in the comments. I will episode um, upload tomorrow, so you don't have too much time to um, choose. To be honest, but I, I should record the next episode before I uh, and after I uploaded this one. Yeah, tell me that in the comments. And uh, there's nothing to say. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please smash the like button. I'm not, uh, now gonna watch Hellebus to Berlin against Gladbach. Hope you have an amazing day. Until tomorrow, guys, and bye.